the death penalty. Most other countries have eliminated the death penalty and certainly have eliminated it with regard to execution of minors and execution of persons with mental retardation. In the United States, this is a continuing issue. Now, a couple of years ago, the Supreme Court had a case in which the question was, could uh, the state of Virginia execute a man with an IQ of 86 <coughs> out of 100? Uh, I organized a group of diplomats. We filed a brief saying, the United States is one of only two countries in the world that executes persons with mental retardation. The other is Kyrgyzstan. Uh, the Kyrgyzstan government immediately wrote a letter to the New York Times saying, we have banned <laughs> executions of anybody. <laughs> only the United States, only the United States is barbaric enough to persist in executing people who have the mind of a child. And then people say, uh, what does this have to do with US law? Well, I submit to you that if the United States or states of the United States are the only governments in the world that do it, it is unusual. And if it's unusual, it is cruel and unusual. And if it's cruel and unusual, it may be a violation of our own Eighth Amendment to the United States Constitution. In, f in fact, that's what the court went on to hold in Atkins versus Virginia, the case that I'm describing. So we have many things to learn from Europe. And I think that the, the notion that um, we have to rename our French fries, Belgian fries, or whatever, uh, or, you know, I think, I think in, as a matter of fact, the question is not who saved who in the World War II. The question is which nation is living up to the values uh, that were proclaimed after World War II with regard to the promotion of human rights.